This video is how to uh, download and use my uh, new Touch OSC template that I've done for the Android phone or iPhone. So first of all, you have to get the files that you need. Um, go to my website, comutinytech.com slash theater tech. comutinytech.com slash theater tech. Then you go to the tutorials download page. Um, I have the new things here. So uh, first of all, if you haven't already downloaded the 90 fader layout, or if you have already, you're going to want to re-download it again because I've changed it and added some pages and some information for this iPhone. So again, right-click on the uh, link, say Save Link As. It'll come up. It'll say Generic 90 Demo Version 2. Um, one, one in parentheses QXW just as one in parentheses because I already have this on my desktop but QXW so that is the QLC file that you're going to open with QLC then you're going to also want to go and download the uh, OSC smart flown te uh, template again right click there save length as and it should come up as generic 90 iPhone dot touch OSC so this works with the older version of OSC the mark 1 version if you uh, have that on your phone, if you're downloading that from the Play Store or the Apple Store. Get that on your computer or get that on your iPhone. I'll, sometimes they download it to my computer and then I send it to my email on my phone and then I pick it, uh, pick it up from the email, put it in the Downloads folder, and then I get it into my Touch OSC that way. So, And then the third thing is you're going to want to download the profile for the Touch OSC template. And this is a part of QLC+. Plus. So again, right-click. Save links as, and it'll come up as Touch OSC Mark 1 Generic 90 iPhone dot QXI. So, this is another QLC Plus file that you'll need to use to run here. And if I'm going kind of rapidly, take a look at my other video where I go into this a little more intensively about how to use the Touch OSC file and, and profiles and everything. Uh, this one, since I've already posted that video, I'm going a little bit quicker here. All right. Once you get all those files in there, that you have them, uh, next thing you're going to do, again, send the Touch OSC file to your iPhone so that you have it and get that on there. So the QXI file that you downloaded has to be put in a certain place on your computer. Open up your Explorer. You're going to want to go to your main drive, C drive, in, that, in my case here. Then go to Subdirectory Users and then my username and under there you'll find QLC plus I'm opening them up and then input profiles that's where you're going to want to move that to these are any profiles that you've created or that a third party's created like me and you want to get these into your profile so that you can use them and down here you can actually see that touch OSC mark 1 dash generic 90 iPhone QXI because I've already put that in there. So get that profile, that QXI file, into that location so QLC Plus can find it. All right, so then when we start up, then we're going to start up uh, QLC Plus, and I've, I have my new version here, generic 90 demo version 2.qxw. We're up and loaded. I've added an additional page here at the end. And this is the one that's going to be accessed by the iPhone. So you can uh, basically touch any of these DMX addresses and it will light up that particular light. You can adjust the intensity of the light and you can also, after you've lit up the different lights, you can actually uh, turn them off. Uh, let me just bring up the, and I'll show you what I mean. So I can put that light on, this light on. You can see various lights coming on. I can do these guys. So this is basically a focusing tool that you can use um, for focusing lights. Uh, I thought I'd make it in an iPhone format so that you can carry the phone in your pocket or on a clip in your belt. You're climbing a ladder, you're up in a catwalk. You need to turn a certain light on to focus it. Uh, using this OSC remote, you can turn any light on. You can adjust the intensity of the light. So it's getting a little too warm to handle. And you can turn the light on, get it focused, or any group of lights. And then when you're all done, just hit stop functions and it'll turn them off. So it, it actually works as a kind of a remote focus tool, but it's just a lot handier because it's, it's on your phone rather than carrying your iPad up into the catwalk with you or that. I thought it'd be a little bit more convenient. I did include the Q 
queue control page, though, my booth in the community theater I was in was up on the second floor. There were times when I wanted to be down on the main floor to run sound for a musical group, and I also wanted to be able to run their light cues from down there. So I would simply take my phone down and run my eye, my uh, light cues from the phone, but I could also have the mixer with me down on the main floor and do mix. Or if I had a digital mixer, I could be down and, and that was up in the booth. I could have my iPad running the digital mixer and my phone running the light cues for that musical production. So there's a, a lot of possibilities here. Now let me just bring up and show you what this app looks like on the iPhone. All right, so I'm going to bring up my OSC application here. Now I've already got it in place. I put it in the download area. I picked it up and you can see in here it says in layout it says generic 90 iPhone uh, has a one after it. So that would be my generic 90 iPhone and I have a check mark there. Uh, normally I just do add from file and it would pick it up from my download area and I could bring that in and I could use it. All right now Again, settings here, OSC, you're going to want to click up here, it says OSC. I know that my computer is 10.0.0.8. I'm using outgoing port 7700, incoming 9000. Uh, local IP address, always important. This can change depending upon, well, actually, this will be different depending upon your, com your computer that you're using. And this will be different according to what your phone uh, IP address is. So in this case, my phone IP address is 10.0.0.22. All right, so I've got that information. Why is that important? Well, we'll show you why. We're going to go back here then. I'm going to say done. I have my iPhone up and running then. Now I need to go into QLC Plus. Let me just get this out of the way, put it back down in the corner here a little bit. All right, so we're going to want to go inputs, outputs. We're going to go to profile. We're going to go to that new profile that we uh, put in there, which is the to Touch OSC Mark 1 Generic 90 iPhone in that profile. And make sure that that's the profile that we are using. Now, when I go back to mapping in here, and I'm going to do OSC. I'm going to do um, actually 10.0.0.9. So that address has changed. So let me go just go in real quick and fix that on my iPad over here. So let me bring that back up so you can see what I'm doing. So again, like I said, you want to check these things. So I want to go to OSC. I want to go 10.0.0.9. All right, that should fix that. Then we're back here. 10.0.9, done. All right, let me Take this a view down out of your way so you can see what's going on. Now I want to go to that address. I'll just slide this over for a minute. So 10.0.0.9. Highlight that. Go into your tools here. 10.0.0.9. Uh, that's correct. 7700. That's correct. Output address 10.0.0.18. That's incorrect. We want we want this to be the one that was shown on our iPad, which is. 10.0.0.22. So again, you want to double check that. So I'm going to fix this and go 10.0.0.22. So now it is correct. We don't need to worry about this one up here, just this one here. Okay, so we should be good to go then. So when I go back to my virtual console, we should be connected. I'm in run mode. So now I can use, I'm just going to slide this over to the side here. Anytime I do anything on my iPad, it should bring things up. So when I touch on a page here, any of these page numbers, it's going to take me to page 5 in QLC+. Then um, I just did channels 31 through 60. Let me just bring on my... Let's put that down the bottom. Let me bring out my MIDI monitors. You can see things are working here. So if I touch on 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, you can see the lights coming on. I'm just doing this on my phone. I can adjust the intensity. See the intensity changing on those. As I'm doing that, I can hit stop all and then knock them out of there. All right, so I have my remote up here. And again, works a little differently. I have some numbers across the top here. So my first page is... Channels 1 through 30, 31 through 60, 
and 61 through 90. Now, on the phone display, they come up as three separate pages. On QLC, it's just one page. So anytime I punch up any of those numbers, and it, it will direct me to page five in the QLC. What this will not do, this phone remote will not run these pages over here, pages one, two, and three. The iPad version of, of that I did will run those three pages plus the Q page. The iPad version will not run this page. So I just put this page in the virtual console just for using the phone. However, the phone will also run the Q's page. So if I touch Q's, so I can run my Q's page from here. So I can do scenes. Uh, the only thing I did differently is that on the iPhone version, you can see it's a slider to control intensity. We're up here. It's a circle, but it works the same way. Uh, I can move the slider, and you can see the intensity changing up the top there. Most, you know, If you want full intensity, leave your slider all the way up. Yeah, it's on the rotary. It works the same way, so I've designed that to work the same way. If you're going to go back and use the iPad version, you're going to want to switch back to the profile for the iPad version because that's what gets you into the first three pages plus the queue. If you're using the phone, you want to be in the profile for the iPhone version. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But it's pretty easy to switch. Just make sure when you do switch that you double check your IP addresses to make sure things are working out the way that, that you think they should. Okay? So this should work here. I'm going to do uh, play my queue list. And I'm again, I'm executing everything from here from my iPhone remote, and I'm doing next queue, next queue, next queue. All right, so this should work for you. Again, if you have questions, look at my video on the uh, other Touch OSC app. I go a little bit more in depth about setting things up, but I didn't want to repeat myself in this video, so I'm kind of going through it a little bit more rapidly. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, send them to me through my website. And uh, if you have, have trouble with something working, I can probably troubleshoot it for you, okay? All right, good luck. Hope you enjoy this.